Hi there, Steve here. Just going through my emails and answering your questions. <laughs> so I go through my emails and I do try to answer as many as I can. Uh, but every so often one will catch my eye where I think, you know, I could make that into a video, it's probably easier to explain. And you know, it gives me content and it also helps you out, so it's a win-win situation. And today actually my uh, message doesn't come from my email, it's actually from Instagram. And this is from David. And he says, hey, I've recently been getting into playing math rock, okay, it's great. And uh, he started with my seven beginner riff videos, uh, which is cool. And um, he says, get the technique down and stuff, excellent. And he says he's having a bit of problem with um, muting, and it, it just get frustrating, that kind of thing. So overall, you know, it's just worrying about overtones, so like strings ringing and stuff on top. So um, I'm just going to give a few tips and pointers about how we can deal with this kind of thing. Right, uh, so I've got my Telecaster. If you do hear a bit of noise, it's mostly because of these lights shining onto these uh, single coil pickups. They're not actually overtones from the guitar itself, just to point that out. And now I'm going to zoom in on the guitar so you can see better the, uh, the things that I'm trying to show you. So you're going to have a bit of a, a headless video from now on. So, uh, so the song David was talking about was uh, this song, a Don Cab song. <laughs> And uh, Ian Williams, he plays it with one hand, so he's just tapping with the left hand, so hammering on from nowhere. So first I'm going to play it without using any technique, uh, muting techniques at all, so you can just hear what kind of overtones you can run into with ringing strings. So now I'll play it with the techniques that I use for muting and then I'll show you a little bit about them. So a lot less um, overtones going on there. You hear a bit of buzzing, like I said, because of the lights shining on the pickup, so it's given some interference. Uh, because this hand, because this tapping riff is just played with this, uh, with your left hand, with your fretting hand here, uh, it's quite hard to actually mute some of the strings from ringing. But what I'm doing here is I'm pushing the top of my index finger slightly on the low E string here. Every time I tap, I touch it, so it's, it's not. I'll turn off the delay, so it's not ringing out, you see. And then I'm using the underside of my index finger here, it's arched, and it's touching the the E and the B string here, uh, the B and the E string, sorry, here, and that's stopping these strings from sounding out too much when I'm tapping it as well. quite tricky to achieve but obviously the more you practice it the more it become just more natural and you'll just do this naturally without even really thinking about it anymore. So you can see it's a lot more quieter that way. When it comes to two hand tapping stuff now what you can do is use the for muting the lower strings here instead of using the top of my index finger to mute because what about if I've got like this E and A you know I can mute the A but this E is, um, you know, could be in trouble, could be ringing, and we don't want that, right? So you can lightly use the palm of your strumming hand, your picking hand, to mute the strings. And you can do this all the time anyway when, you, when you're not finger tapping. Uh, so for example, if I had this like two hand tapping kind of piece around a C major shape and a G major shape. Here's fine. I can use my index finger again to mute the top of the E. But what about when I come, you know, let's say I'm tapping here. So I'm using my, again, my index finger to mute this high E. And I'm using the palm here to mute this, these two lower strings. This is fine when obviously, if you're picking something down here, you can keep your hand here. But if you're two hand tapping, you want to probably bring your thumb up on top here to give an anchor. And then you can also then just angle your palm here so it's resting on the strings. So if I was tapping like... You can hear I'm getting a lot of overtones there, but these two strings are not ringing. But what you can do in these cases where you don't want this D, B and D, G and B strings to ring, for, for example, you know, you can mute with the... with my index finger here, right? So I'm leaning on my palm here, the palm slightly on the, the strings. Now all we're hearing is these notes. So 
So I'm using the index finger, you can see here, as a mute across the top of the string. And then I'm resting my palm on these lower strings here to mute them. You, know, you can't hear this E string at all, right? It's all about control and it takes a while to develop these kind of things. And I just do it because naturally, I've not actually, I don't really ever think about it anymore. It just comes out that way because that's what I've been doing for the longest time. Just by paying attention to having overtones and stuff that I don't want and then making an effort to mute those kind of things by practicing these techniques, it will really make your playing sound a lot more professional too. Anyway, uh, I hope those things help you out, David, and I hope that's helped out a lot of you as well. Uh, remember one thing is that all of these muted things that I've shown you work ever so well with when you're not tapping too, especially, you know, muting with your index finger here and using your palm to control any overtones, unwanted overtones. Anyway, if you'd like to drop me a question, uh, you can email me at my email address that's on screen here, or drop me a message over on Instagram, and you can follow me there at Let's Talk About Math Rock. Um, yeah. Hope you're staying safe and I hope to see you again soon. And uh, Patreons, if you are a Patreon already, then please you can drop me a message and I'll try and include that in this uh, little show that I'm putting together at the moment. And if you're not a Patreon already, then uh, I'd really appreciate any support that you could give. And as always, uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.